Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, if you can't tell obviously by the thumbnail and the video title, we're going to go through my Woodmark collection. So I'm pretty much just going to go through them. I have all my Woodmarks from Ink and Wonder Designs, so they're all designed in a similar design style. Um, some of these are from their Wonder Crates, some are from exclusives from other crates that, like I think Faye Crates one that I've got. And that's because the creator was like, hey, I've got more of them. Let's put them up for you guys to have if you didn't get one uh, fake crate. So, yeah, so there's a crap ton of them in here. I have to grab some out of my books to show you as well. Um, I have not read all the books that these are from. Some of these are from my favorite books of all time. Some of them are just ones that I got in the crates. Some are ones I just really liked. So we're just going to get right on into it and cringe at how much money I've spent on these. <laughs> these woodmarks all range pretty much starting price in Australian dollars of nine dollars each. Um, I began my collection with three when I think they did a buy, buy two get one free for Easter last year and I bought three and fell in love with them and went okay I need more of these and then Wonder Crate started and yeah. <laughs> my obsession really went crazy with Ink and Wonder in general. I mean, there's my Harry Potter Ouija board just there. I love that thing. It is the coolest thing I've ever gotten. I love it. Um, but we're just going to get right on into it and yeah. <laughs> so all these are printed on little slabs of wood. So they're very fine, very flexible and they're very durable. I haven't had one break or anything like that. I use these all the time. Ever since I got them, I've started using bookmarks instead of dog earing my pages, and I love it. But yeah, this is an Alice in Wonderland one, which is why sometimes I believed as many as six impossible things before breakfast. Second star to the right and straight on till morning, the most iconic quote from Peter Pan. This next woodmark is based off the print from one of the past wonder crates of Stalking Jack the Ripper and it is the dead speak to those who listen be quieter than even them. This one is a Sarah J Mass quote with Nehemia on it. It says do not let that light go out. This one is a Sir Arthur Conan Doyle quote which says the future was with fate, the present was our own. This one is a Cassandra Clare quote which says I have very few rules in life but one of them is to never decline an adventure. This one is from their Inkology range and it is the Sagittarius. This one is one of the first ones I ever picked up and it is a Hocus Pocus one that just says I am I put a spell on you and now you're mine featuring the Sanderson sisters. This one says I am looking for someone to share in an adventure that I am arranging. It is a J.R.R. Tolkien quote. This one is a Stephen King quote which says be true, be brave, stand, all the rest is darkness. Once again, another Peter Pan quote, which says, Would you like an adventure now, or would you like to have your tea first? Fear is a hungry beast. The more you feed it, the more it grows. This one came as a pair of two, and it is Feyre and Resand from the Akatar series. And it says, Tendrils of Sarkis Night trailed in his wake, a land me in a kingdom of wolves. This one's a Matilda quote, which is, Never do anything by halves. If you want to get away with it, be outrageous. This one is a Malala quote, which was one that I never thought I would have or anything like that, but it came one of the crates, and I absolutely love it. And it is, Extremists have shown what frightens them the most, a girl with a book. Once again, one of the first ones I got, and it is Rocket and Groot from Guardians of the Galaxy with the mixtape cassette in the center, and I absolutely love this one. Next one is our darling Jughead Jones from Riverdale, and it is, he's got some darkness in him, and he's got his Southside Serpent jacket on, and there's hot dogs and milkshakes and all that fun stuff. This next one is a carry quote and it is she did not know if her gift came from the Lord of Light or of Darkness. This one is from The Corpse Bride which is another one of my favourite Tim Burton films and it is isn't the view beautiful it takes my breath away well it would if I had any. And this is the last one of the first three that I ever got and it is a Medusa inspired one that says hiss off I'm reading and I love it. This is my only double sided one and it is the entire William Shakespeare bubble bubble toil and trouble poem. You know, Eye of Newt, Tell of Frog, Wool of Bat and Tongue of Dog, the whole shebang. 
This one was from a magnet that was given in a wood crate for Molly Weasley, which says, not my daughter, you bitch. And the creator of Inca Wonder made it into a wood mark and I had to get it because it is my favorite quote out of like the entire seven books of Harry Potter is one of my favorite quotes of all time. This one's a Lainey Taylor quote, which says, I will give them nightmares to haunt their dreams long after I'm gone. Once again, another Sarah J Mass quote, one of her most iconic quotes of all time, to the stars who listened and the dreams that answered. This one's a Jane Austen one that says, my courage always rises at every attempt to intimidate me and it is just gloriously beautiful. This one's a Rick Riordan one, which says strange things conspire when one tries to cheat fate. If you can't tell, I kind of like Sarah J Mass ones because they, one, they're beautiful and two, her quotes are so iconic and they, I, I just like them. I like them. That's just me. So this one is remember that you are a wolf and you cannot be caged. This is a Neil Gaiman one that says, the future came and went in the mildly discouraging way that futures do. Another Rick Riordan one, and this one says, strays and wanderers are often sent by the gods. Anything's possible if you've got enough nerve, which is another Harry Potter quote, and it is Ginny Weasley's Patronus. And the last one that I have in my possession at the moment, because my brother has my Simon Lewis one, which I'll put a photo of right here. This is the other one that I have, my brother is borrowing. But back to the last one that I can show you guys right now. It is a J.R.R. Tolkien one once again and this one's gorgeous. It was in the last wood crate and I think it's beautiful and it is all we have to do is decide what to do with the time that is given to us. But that is my entire Ink and Wonder collection. Um, I hope you liked it. I will leave the links for Ink and Wonder down below. Please support them. They're absolutely amazing. I am not affiliated with them whatsoever. Um, I just absolutely love the brand and wanted to showcase them because I think they deserve it. They're absolutely amazing and have ethical woodmarks and they're just a blessing to society and they're absolutely lovely. Anytime I've had an issue with postage or anything because Australia Post has screwed me over a couple times with them, they've been nothing but helpful and really just amazing and I just wish them all the best in the new year. Um, so yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let me know what your favourite one was, if you have any that you like, or if there's another company that do more woodmarks that you would like to suggest to me and to others, please leave them down below because I love supporting unknown little indie brands and I love woodmarks because I think they're just perfect. They're fabulous. So yeah. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to see more content from me and I'll see you guys in another video very shortly. Bye!